yeah. FreeSync is this is of course AMD's proposed solution to fix some of the screen tearing issues we've been talking about for a really long time. It's an improvement upon, of course, VSync te technology, which you've all known about for a long time. It has to do with, as I understand it, variable refresh rates as a way of fixing some of these stuttering and tearing issues. Yes, 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 and yes. Yes. Does it work? Do we like it overall? Give us some of the, the, the higher level 10,000 feet impressions and then people can read it for all the details when it comes out. Yeah, so the, the key here really is to make animation more fluid without tearing. And really, even with tearing, if you have like a 60 hertz monitor and you've got tearing, you know, V-Sync disabled and you have tearing, it's still not very smooth. And if you use this thing here, Jordan, I could play a video for us of Ooh. free sync, and we'll have watch this. Listen, listen. Ooh. Okay, there you go. Um, and I'm live on Twitch. It says, I don't think this is going to come through on the YouTube <laughs> or uh, Twitch feed or any of that, but I've got uh, 240 frame per second slow motion video of. Uh, 144 hertz, 144 hertz free sync monitor with variable refresh and V-Sync, no tearing, versus a 60 hertz uh, fixed refresh. And the animation, even though it's it's slowed down to show you because I can't show right. show you 144 right. hertz on your terrible monitor, <laughs> um, but it is way smoother um, when you have this, and, and it's simply a better way. We know that from G-Sync which is NVIDIA's tech, but that's proprietary. And so Radeon users can't can't use it. And right. you have to have NVIDIA's module in your monitor to you know, support it. And it's kind of their own ecosystem only. FreeSync is AMD's answer. And they went to the VESA standards body that makes DisplayPort and got a standard set and then went to monitor uh, display logic chip makers and got them to support it, went to monitor makers, got them to support it. And so the idea here is not only is FreeSync free in the sense that it's open, but also hopefully by sort of making it open and giving it to all the players that already make monitors, it can become free in the sense of not really costing more eventually. Right. And, and that's probably a ways off right now Like with monitors like this BenQ monitor. It's a 27-inch, 2560 by 1440 display. It costs a fair amount of money. Um, it's like 629 at Newegg. Um, you know, they're going to charge a premium for them at first, but the hope is that variable refresh using the standard just becomes ubiquitous eventually, I think. And it, it could happen. Um, but for the short term, what you have is if you're a Radeon owner and you want a monitor that will, that will give you this additional smoothness, uh, now there are some options out there. And, um, and Jordan, the complicated part of this that I don't want to get into too much, and you can see right here, it says what happens at the edges. Um, and what I'm talking about is this monitor and most variable refresh monitors it can it can refresh at up to 144 times per second or at a minimum of 40 times per second below that it ceases to have the same behavior in terms of just infinitely variable or almost infinitely variable refresh um, so the question is what happens when your frame rate from the GPU goes b below that 40 cycles per second mark and mm -hmm. Nvidia has been talking about this and some other publications have uh, published some sort of analysis of and guesses about how AMD handles that scenario versus NVIDIA uh, and, and said basically the FreeSync doesn't do good things uh, in that case. I've tested it a lot. I've looked at it. I've looked at the theory. I've asked engineers at AMD and, and, and uh, NVIDIA about it and uh, my take is that AMD's handling of low FPS situations in FreeSync is completely acceptable in real games. Uh, that the quantization that people are talking about happening below 40 hertz doesn't happen unless you have a fixed refresh, which games don't have. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I'll get into the reasons why in the article, but uh, at the end of the day, I think NVIDIA has kind of a point that their solution may be, like, in a very marginal way, slightly smarter than what they think AMD is doing, but AMD handles it really well. You can play a game at 35 frames per second, and if that game, if the GPU performance of it isn't too bad, if you can kind of turn up the quality but not have it be like a, a terrible scenario, um, the display handles it fine. 
And, and I've seen quantization from like 4K 30 hertz panels where you only get 30 hertz no matter what. And if you were getting true 40 hertz quantization out of a FreeSync display, you'd have the same terribleness as that. You simply do not. In fact, you're not going to perceive a difference in goodness, in my view, gaming at below 40 frames per second, it's kind of on average, between G-Sync and, and FreeSync um, on the displays out there now, at least not the ones I tested. So um, I think that there's been uh, kind of a sense that uh, maybe, you know, NVIDIA did it better, and, and my sense is that it's not in a way that's meaningful to you. Um, so there are other issues here uh, that have to do with ghosting, um, and uh, there's some ghosting on this uh, this BenQ display that is not present on the ASUS FreeSync monitor that or G-Sync monitor, sorry, that uses a similar panel. Um, I'm going to get into that some. That's a display-related issue, but it has something to do with G-Sync module versus the other display logic chips and some stuff like that. But I don't want to go too far down that path. Um, I would say that the, the, at the end of the day, um, everything else in this, this review, Jordan, what you're going to find is that this monitor is really, really similar. In fact, it may use the same TN panel as the Asus ROG Swift PG278Q, which is our favorite G-Sync gaming display. Um, the, it probably is the same TN panel, same resolution and size, same basic specs, and the color quality, the gamut, um, the 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 Delta E, you know, how much color accuracy, the color error it has, what is the accuracy of the color, all of those measurements, the BenQ comes out looking quite decent. Now there are some other quirks that it has that are related to like gaming oriented features that I get into in the article, but uh, you can mostly kind of turn those things on or off if you don't like them. So at the end of the day, I think that what has happened here is that AMD has uh, managed to create a uh, or foster the creation of because this is BenQ's product uh, a, an incredible alternative to G-Sync that is open and um, NVIDIA okay. has a couple of things at the edges they think they do better but honestly this is good enough like I'm happy with it and I really wish now that now that these things exist that NVIDIA would go ahead and support these displays to, to, to support these VESA Adaptive Sync compatible monitors. I don't have to use the word FreeSync, uh, which is AMD's brand, but I wish they would support them um, uh, with GeForce cards because I think pretty much any GeForce card from Kepler Forward could do it if they would enable it in the drivers. And um, if NVIDIA really believes that their special sauce at the edges for the way they handle things in G-Sync is better, let that be their competitive advantage instead of locking people out of using these sort of broad ecosystem products uh, with scalers from different, or display logic from different companies and, and things like that. Um, I would really like to see this go ahead and become the standard that it probably will be in the long run sooner rather than later so that we don't have this like fight over this stuff where everybody's locked into one vendor's ecosystem or the other. And I think that this is good enough, credible as an alternative, that it's time for that uh, that change to happen now. Now, NVIDIA has given no indication that that's what they're going to do, but that's my position, so there you have it.